some big old cans. We're going to do a Foster's tonight. So funny story about Foster's. I've never had it before. Uh, I'm aware that it is awful, but I'm going to, I'm going to drink it as I always do with an open mind. I did forget a glass. So, you know what? We're going to, we're going to treat this at the highest level that I can, which is, uh, we're going to, we're going to put it in a nice little glass. It is not expired. It expires on April 19th of this year. So somewhat fresh, I would assume. Uh, let me grab a glass. It is not made in Australia. If you were wondering. Uh, definitely, definitely not. Uh, I don't know when, if ever, it was made there. Uh, it is also not Australia's best-selling beer or their favorite. But uh, you know, what are you gonna do? So let me uh, let me grab that glass here. We got one of my favorite glasses here, my good old trusty Tank Seven glass. So let's see what we got. So first of all, it's a what is this? Twenty-five ounce. 20, 25.4 ounce uh, Foster's oil can, as they call it. I just tripped my nail, so I can't get under the, uh, the opener. Jesus. All right, there we go. Okay. Let's see here. So. Pouring a very pale... Oh, my. So we have a pale gold uh, pour. I wipe some of this off. Spilled it. Uh, brilliantly clear, absolutely brilliant. Clearly filtered. Um, not a lot of carbonate. I mean, I, I know it's going to be carbonated, but it doesn't. These bubbles are fairly big that are coming up. Um, they're not like the nice steady stream that you see. We have a nice white head. Looks like well sustained. Um, let's see what the aroma is. It's a little cold. I'm not getting a ton, which I don't expect to get much off of this. Though I do get, I got some alcohol right off the front. I get a little bit of apple. Or I should say like a, like a white fruit. I definitely get some, some like uh, bread dough or cracker, you know, so like uh, that, that yeasty kind of uncooked flour. It's very mild. There's really not much aroma to it, which is exactly what I expect from an import lager, um, or as they call it. Let's see. What's the alcohol? Yeah, this is a 750. This is a wine bottle's worth. Sorry. If I didn't just grind my face into the mic. Um, where's, the, where's the alcohol? It must be under 5%, uh, because if it is, they don't have to label it uh, here in... Uh, East in Florida. Wait, there it is. Yeah, five percent. There it is. So it's just a five percent. Nothing crazy. Now right, let's see what it tastes like. Okay, it's very weedy. It's not as bad as I was expecting. It's got a very um, like chewy kind of malt flavor it doesn't taste as cheap as I was expecting it's very dry finish is very dry it's not super sweet although it does have a bit of sweetness right at the front very light hopping almost unnoticeable Again, these are all characteristics that I would expect from an import lager. It's not a lot to it, man. Cracker, uh, chewy, uh, malt. It's pretty basic. Um, definitely do not need a glass for this, but. We'll finish this one. All right. Well, there's your Foster's Lager, or however you would do it. I'd Obviously not great with accents. Or uh, wait, wait, what do they do? They always they always sound like they're asking a question, right? It's like Foster's Logger, easy or no, no? What do you think? So I think that's right. That's like a that's how Jim Jeffries sounds, right? I don't fucking know. 